All right. In all these water heaters, uh, everybody asks us how how much life does my water heater have left? That's that's not a it's not a question that can be answered. In order to figure that out to know for sure, you'd have to cut this heater in half, look at the inside, and check the glass lining. Well, that's not possible. I mean, it's possible, but nobody's gonna ever do that because you'll never be able to put it back together. So the next, the only other way to look and see what life expectancy is a water heater is. First of all, look at the dating. Most serial numbers that you have on the labels will tell you either month and year or week and year the heater was built so that you know more or less when the heater has. If you have a water heater that's over 10 years old, it doesn't have a lot of life left. Now, ream water heaters on average are lasting about 12 to 15 years, so that's a little bit better time, but still, over 10 years old, even insurance companies will tell you to change them. The only other way to look at a water heater is when you get to a water heater, you have a little piece of insulation on the top of it, on all water heaters. Little cover, a little plastic cover that you can see that has the insulation on it. Well, that piece right there, actually that other one was where the foam went in. This is where, the, where what they call an anode rod is. This is an anode rod. This right here is the anode rod that's in the heater. This takes the keeps the, the heater from basically bursting. This is what gives the life expectancy of a water heater. This anode rod takes all the crap, all the electrolysis, everything away from the outside of the heater and brings it to this little rod. Okay, This anode rod is right inside the heater and this, if you ever want to keep your heater because you like the color, whatever the case may be, you want to keep your heater for life, you need to change your anode rod every five years. This is what a new, and I know it doesn't look new, but this is what a brand new anode rod looks like. Now, after six or seven years, this is what an anode rod looks like. As you can see, they're both the same, so you can see that they're anode rods. But this is the anode rod, all the, all the junk, all the electrolysis, everything comes to here and eats this metal pipe so as to not do any damage to your water heater. So as you can see, this is a, I think this heater was, if I had to make a guess, eight years old. There's not a lot of anode rod left. We've taken out heaters that what's left of the anode rod is this little piece right here. That's it. Everything else is eaten away. So this is this is what gives you the life of your water heater. You want to keep your water heater for life? Change the anode rod every five years. Nobody's ever going to do that because in order to do it, for example, you have a 30-gallon low boy, it's underneath an air conditioner, you're going to have to remove the heater to be able to get the anode rod out. But this is what a new water heat, new anode rod looks like. This is what an eight-year-old anode rod looks like. Another thing on the anode rod. People complain of rotten egg smell when you have well water. Well, everybody says, oh, no, it's my heater. It's not your heater. It's the anode rod. Okay, The anode rod, that rotten egg smell is a bacteria. It's not a harmful bacteria, but it's a smelly bacteria. That bacteria attaches itself to this anode rod and creates the rotten egg smell. There's only two ways to change that. One, you change from a magnesium anode rod, which is what these are, to an aluminum anode rod. And two, you put a chlorinating system right before the water heater. That's the only way to get rid of the rotten egg smell. But you can. There's a, a temporary fix for your rotten egg smell. Is also putting, for every 10 gallons of water, one gallon of bleach. Let it sit in there for 20 minutes. Run it through the pipes. It'll eliminate the rotten egg smell for three to six months. But that's about it. The only other way to do it is anode rods.